Good morning, good morning everybody. We wanted to explain to you and detail you the parade process. So with that being said, once you enter the gate here at Jefferson Recreation Center, you'll come into the gate and you'll make a left. There will be cones here and you'll drive around. Follow that, the direction of the CSA. Follow the direction of the CSA. Once you reach the top here, let's pull around. And then there will be lanes set up in which we will exit the lot. And we should be able to get about 20 to 30 cars in each one of the lanes. That's barring if anyone does not have a limousine or an 18 wheeler. So you'll come and the first car to start the parade will be here. And once the parade begins, we will proceed out of the gates. And no one is allowed out of their car at any time during the ceremony. We repeat, no one is allowed out of the car at any time during the ceremony. And so now we will begin our parade route. We will exit here at Jefferson Recreation Center. Be very careful. Look to your right and look to your left, although the streets will be blocked off. We'll make a left here out of Jefferson Recreation Center. And you'll go in your car no more than 10 miles per hour so that we can prevent any accidents. Please keep at least one car length in front of you. We will then make the right turn here on Windburn. Make the turn on Windburn and be sure to wave to the neighbors. We'll go past Randall Street. And down to the stop sign here on Bayard. Continue to go straight ahead. And don't forget to wave to the neighbors. Just like that, wave at the neighbors as you pass them. Another example, be sure to wave at the neighbors. We'll come all the way down past East Woodland. And here, at the bottom of Jefferson Terrace and Winburn is where we will make our left. Your landmark will be the stop sign and the street name. Make your left here. And come up past Jefferson Street Baptist Church. This is where the fun begins, graduates. 
we make the left here on Jefferson Street and Jefferson Avenue. And it's almost time to cross the stage. So be sure to stay in your cars at all times. Be sure to wave at the neighbors at all times. Are we there yet? Nope, but we're almost there. Class of 2020, you are almost there. Wave at the neighbors. Oh, that's not a neighbor, that's a statue. <laughs> As we climb the hill of success, the hill of prosperity, as we climb the hill, the hill, we're almost here. And here it is, class of 2020, as we proceed onto Bulldog Boulevard. We'll be stopped here. We'll stop here at the stop sign. And then you will be directed into the gates where you will cross the stage. The gates will be opened as you see Mr. Franklin opening the gates right now. Gates will be open, class of 2020. And when we enter Bulldog Boulevard, there will be two lanes, one on the right side and one on the left side. You will be directed to a certain point where you will then stop and allow the graduate to get out of the car so that they may cross the stage. Be sure to wave. Right, and so you'll pull up to here is where the graduate will get out of the car. The graduate gets out of the car, walks up on stage to have the announcement made and their name called and to receive their diploma. Cover. And then you should exit the stage on this side. And as you exit the stage, you enter your car. Whatever side of the road your car is on is the way that you must turn in order to leave the campus. So as you approach the stop sign here, in front of the famous, the world famous Crystal, home of the Crystal Burger, and the Martyr Train, be sure to make either a left or a right as you exit the campus.